It is finally here. The Grill Master's favorite, and somehow least favorite day of the year. Yes, it's Thanksgiving season. Now let's bring out the bird. And come in. Don't move. Oh, right? <laughs> right. <Huh? laughs> I got I got him right here. Ugh. All in the name of entertainment. Don't worry, I got it. Well, I mostly got it. It's turkey season. Thanksgiving needs no introduction, but if you need some info, Google it. I'm an amateur cook, I'm not a history teacher. We're gonna do our turkey a little different though. We're not gonna fry it, we're not gonna barbecue it, we're not gonna do a whole smoke. We're actually gonna break this down and then smoke it. Kind of like my old Ford Mustang that I never took care of. I'm sorry, mom and dad. The first, let's talk about how to break down this bird. You're gonna need a good sharp knife, uh, some kitchen shears, some butcher twine. The most important thing to always remember is don't ruin the skin when we're going through this. So we're actually gonna do, he's not happy that I'm murdering his cousin. So what we're actually gonna try to do here is we're gonna try to take the skin off first, uh, which is not a horribly difficult procedure. So what you want to do is kind of take your hand and get underneath the breast section right here and kind of just push a little bit, almost like you're going to put seasoning underneath it. And what that's going to let you do is separate the breast from the skin. So we are going to use this later. Okay. And kind of get the legs out here as well. So let's get our knife and we'll go ahead and make some incisions right here next to the drum. And we're just going to cut all of this skin off. Our turkey's still a little crunchy. But that's going to be okay for what we're doing today. Oh my god, I am mangling this thing right now. We're mainly going to be focusing on the breast meat for this cook. We want a little bit of dark meat. Maybe next time I'll actually try to do this before we film it. Okay, so we got our two legs. Uh, next, we are gonna remove the breast. Uh, the easiest way to do this is to find the breastbone here and start cutting one side. You wanna cut pretty much straight down with the breastbone. All the way through. And just kinda follow the back. Okay, so from our turkey carcass, we've got two breasts and two legs and we've got the skin. That's pretty much all we're gonna need for this cook. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the right, ready the rest of this and we'll catch up with you on the next step. So we got pretty much everything we need. We got the breast pulled out, we got the legs and the thigh removed, we got the skin separated. Uh, so we're gonna set this aside for right now. Uh, what we're gonna do is go ahead and put together our seasoning uh, for the inside. So uh, I go have my food processor here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add Couple cloves of garlic. We are gonna add some red pepper flakes. We are gonna add some sage. We're gonna add some thyme. some celery salt and some peppercorns. Okay. And let's see, we got some vegetable oil. Probably about a tablespoon or two here. So, we got everything in here. We're going to go ahead and pulse. Shake that up a bit. And give it one more whirl if I can figure out how to do it. So, that's done. We're going to keep this handy. 
we've got the uh, puree done for the inside. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna get some gloves back on. What we're gonna do is actually make a little roulade. Uh, I'm calling it turkey porchetta. You can call it whatever you want. Um, it's not gonna be angry with you because it's a turkey. We need to get some of the extra meat off of these legs. So I'm gonna go ahead and here, get that off of there. Now with this stuff, we're gonna wanna take the skin off it too. You can pretty much just pull it off here at this point. Now if you wanna omit the dark meat in this recipe, you can just use the breasts. I just like using the dark because it gives you a little bit more moisture, keeps it from drying out. This guy. And on this guy, we've got the whole thigh, so we'll go ahead and start removing some of the meat off of that. Ooh. Go, I think that's probably enough. Breaking down leg meat is like one of the most unpleasant things. Okay, we got enough from there. So here's what we're gonna do first. So on the turkey breast, you've got the actual breast and then you've got the turkey tenderloin. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna actually kind of splay this out a little bit. I'm gonna get some of this seasoning blend that I've got here that I made. Um, almost like a pesto kind of. And we're gonna rub it right into this breast here. And then we're gonna take some of that dark meat we're gonna place it right in there. Take a little bit more of that. So that's done. We've got our other breast here. We're gonna do the same exact thing. Rub. And then the dark meat's gonna be here again. And we're gonna get the rest of that spice paste. So, as we see, we've got two of these book masks here. What we're gonna do, is gonna take it back in here. Oh, I hope this works. And blah. Okay. So that's our step one. So from here, we have a little bit more of a difficult task to do. We're gonna take the skin that we removed from the turkey earlier, and we're gonna go ahead and drape that boop, all over here. If it doesn't reach both sides, that's okay. We really just kind of need to cover the top. So you want to cover it kind of just like that. Now, take this whole thing, flip it, and we're gonna grab our butcher twine. You'll want to cut a piece about this long. If you kind of look at your bird, you want it to be about three times as long as the width. So let's go ahead and get those. If it's extra long, that's totally fine. Probably want about four of these. What we're gonna do here again, take that back. Woo! Struggling. I actually got a better way. Take your twine, put that down first, put your first turkey breast down, then take the second one, and flip that over the top, then take the skin here, drape the skin over, like so. If you can tuck it in, try to tuck it in a little bit, but we're gonna take our string here and tie this tight. There's a fly on my neck. I don't wanna to touch my neck because I have turkey juice all over it. And we're gonna tighten this up. Try to get as much uniform shape as possible. To be entirely honest with you, this is probably not gonna look the greatest right now. That's a okay. We're just gonna trim off some of the excess skin. We don't want any of that to just burn off. Cut the extra twine. So it's all trussed up and I am gonna be real honest with you. I know this does not look great, but when this cooks out, this is gonna be super delicious. So right now we have our pellet grill firing up. We're gonna run it about 250 uh, for a few hours. Um, so we're gonna get this seasoned. So basically, I'm gonna take some vegetable oil. Yep. Kind of rub it here on the skin. Now having the skin separated instead of leaving it on the turkey like we 
normally would cook a turkey. When you smoke a turkey, it kind of gets gummy and uh, it doesn't really have a pleasant texture, but by separating it, it gives it time to render. Um, and then also hitting it with the oil helps it uh, get nice and crispy. Well, we're taking just the poultry seasoning. This is actually the same one we use for our spatchcock chicken. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and pretty much go crazy on the top here. Okay, so once our smoker's done firing up, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, on the smoker. Uh, you can run an internal probe on this um, because we have the, the thigh meat in the middle. It can be a little tough, so I usually just check it with a thermopen. Uh, we're looking for uh, about a 165, 170 temp, and that's when pretty much everything will be done. Um, so just keep an eye on it while it's cooking. Um, and that's pretty much it. This is one of those set and forget recipes that's pretty simple to follow. It's just there's the prep. It tends to be a little bit more uh, time consuming. So once that's done firing up, we'll go ahead and get this on and we'll see you in a bit. All right, so it's been about two hours, so we're gonna go ahead and get our turkey porchetta off the smoker. We're gonna bring it back over and we're gonna get it sliced up and ready to serve. Let's do it. I had to tell you that it was gonna look bad before we put it on, and then it was gonna look good. Let me get these off of here real quick. What's this? That sounds like Kenny Jeep. Do you hear that? This smells amazing. Go, get that guy out of there. I feel like I'm doing a little baby surgery here. Okay, let's get these guys over here. Cool. All right. So again, just to recap, so what we did here is we took the turkey, we broke it down, we took the breasts apart, we took the legs off, we took some of that leg meat, and we put it in between the two breasts. We put our uh, our spice paste in there, uh, and then we smoked it for about two hours at 250. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and get this a slice. I'm gonna go right down the middle here. Oh, it's perfect. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in here and get myself a slice. Look at that. Get a little bite of the breast meat here. Super juicy. Mm. Super juicy, super tender, tons of flavor from that spice paste we made to go in the middle. I'd almost call that like a, what's the word I'm looking for, like a pesto? I'd almost call that a pesto, but you know, we're bringing our own flavor kind of into it. Let me get some of this thigh meat in here. Who is like? Woo. Oh. I'm gonna tell you, if you love turkey, this is the absolute best way to just do every part of it justice in like a small, tiny little package. Now, if you like this recipe, uh, remember, like, subscribe, even drop a comment down below. Maybe click the little notification bell. You know, we're doing a lot of cool stuff here. Uh, we're trying to do things a little different and with some different flavors than just the traditional style. Uh, this is one of my favorite ways to make turkey. Uh, I absolutely love it. It's perfect for, you know, a smaller gathering. And if you want to do it for a larger group, just maybe grab a couple turkeys throw this together. Um, you can try different spices, different marinades. You can do whatever you want with it, but this is kind of one of the coolest ways to do something a little different. Uh, remember we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're even on TikTok. I don't even know how TikTok works, but we're on it. So uh, from our Grill Slingers team to you, happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you guys next time.